Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Dr. Shiba Akram. Most of the times people ask us about the large ovarian cyst. And today we are going to discuss one of our case study in which we studied and we treated a very large ovarian cyst. First of all, we should know what ovary really is. Ovary is an endocrine organ. And there are two ovaries in a female and these are the most important part of the female reproductive system. What happens that sometimes these ovaries instead of functioning normally and their normal function as we all know is to produce eggs for reproduction and is to produce hormones estrogen and progesterone which play a crucial role in almost every body system of a female and they are responsible for the cyclical changes during menstruation as well. So they are very vital for most of the functions. What happens when these ovaries, they are not doing their work properly, then some disturbance occurs. And that's the disturbance we are talking about today. It, you know, appears in the form of large ovarian cyst. In our country, polycystic ovaries are very common, but our today's study is about one large ovarian cyst. And we would like to know what these ovarian cysts are. These are basically fluid-filled sacs on the ovary or in the ovary. And it may be unilateral, it may be bilateral. One ovary may be affected or both could be. But the case study which I am going to present today is a unilocular, you know, it was located in one ovary. And first of all, I would like to tell you that these ovarian cysts, they can be benign most, most of the times and they can be malignant. And, uh, you know, as far as their benign variety is concerned, these are mainly the functional cysts. The ovary is basically composed of follicles and these follicles, they contain the eggs. When the follicle has a large amount of fluid accumulated inside and the egg is not released and its size keeps on increasing and it comes in the form of a cyst, we call it as a follicular cyst. But there is nothing to worry about, it's a functional benign cyst. And it goes away on its own and we don't need to uh, do any necrotic bite. Second is carpus luteum cyst. When the eggs get out of the follicle and carpus luteum is formed but still somehow fluid gets accumulated in this carpus luteum and it increases in size and it becomes a cyst. It is also a functional and benign cyst and no surgery is required for it. It settles by its own within two or three menstrual cycles. Then after there is a third variety we call as teratoma or a dermoid cyst. It's also common and it contains some embryonic tissue. Therefore, it contains some teeth, some hair and some, you know, um, other structure inside it. And uh, it can be very much large in size and sometimes it has to be, uh, you know, you have to remove it surgically. And the uh, other variety is cyst adenoma. And this is the case which I am going to show you today as well. Cyst adenoma, it has the problem that it can be increased into a very, very large size. And sometimes you have to give very large incisions to get it out during, you know, for carrying out a necrotomy. Cyst adenoma basically arises from the epithelium of the ovary. And it contains mucinous excretions. But problem is it being benign it's not a cyst adenocarcinoma cyst adenoma very common but its size becomes too much that's the problem and uh, the symptoms which the patient comes with they are also related with its weight and size and thereafter there is a condition called uh, it's also very important endometrioma endometrioma is a cyst which is formed in the endometrium and that is the endometrium that lies over the ovary that is, in case of endometriosis, it also has some cystic lien over it, which is called endometrioma. And this is the only type of cyst which is associated with infertility. And that's why we would like to discuss it. To differentiate the benign from malignant, we request CA125. We go for CT scan. 
we go for MRIs and other routine lab investigation, they are definitely done. Now, the symptoms which mainly the patient complains about is pain, it's dull or sharp pain, and they could be, you know, hormonal disturbances, and they could be, you can say, some uh, uh, hormonal effects, cyclical disturbances, emotional disturbances, weight gain, acne, hirsutism, and in case of endometrioma, there is infertility as well. The case I'm going to discuss with you is uh, recently we operated a female. She was in the fifth decade of her life and her viral screening was perfect and she was otherwise all right. In her obstetric history, she had just two kids, one delivered by C-section, other was normal and uh, there was already a paramblite in CN because of the last low segment C-section. She got some 15 years back because of one of her issue and uh, otherwise there was nothing in the history that was very you know significant to discuss with labs were normal but on examination her thyroid gland was very prominent so we get the TSH as well we get the CT scan as well her CT showed uh, first we did the ultrasound scan and her ovarian cyst was diagnosed thereafter we uh, requested for the routine investigations and besides routine uh, we also get the CA125 TSH level and um, along with these we got her CT scan which showed us 17.5 into 15 centimeter right ovarian cyst and uh, after uh, you know uh, assessing the case entirely we decided to perform the nephrotomy and <coughs> we removed that cyst fully in the intact form and I would like to show you the slabs over here uh, you can see I'm rotating the camera and you can see these snaps here. Uh, <coughs> here we are, uh, we are performing, yeah, here. Uh, you see, you can saw me performing. And here is the cyst. And that was, uh, show, that is quite now, you can easily see it now, that um, it is 17.5 centimeter without draining it, without rupturing it. We entirely removed it. And here you can see, we uh, can show it while it was, outside the abdomen and here you can also see when it was not fully uh, removed but we exposed it and the incision was um, was not enough to get it out so we have to enlarge the incision and thereafter we exposed it and we cut the entire the pedicle and we secured the hemostasis and closed the abdomen in there so you can see that we um, could uh, very successfully remove this cyst uh, and uh, the patient thereafter was kept for just one day and thereafter we discharged her. The take home message is that whenever the patient complains about some cyclical disturbances or any complaint regarding to her uh, you know, reproductive system or her menstrual cycle or any mess or something like that, it's always very important to do the ultrasound scan and once the scan is done we have to evaluate the things properly and if there is some cystic lanes which are very common nowadays in our country we should go for their treatment as early as possible thank you